So, hi, um, my name is Gary. <laughs> I am 26 years of age and I come from Ireland. I've been doing EVS for three months now. And so far it's been, it's been great. So hello, my name is Maite. I am from Pamplona and I am 23 years old. <laughs> Come on. Uh, I arrived in Prague three months ago and I started my EBS. So I visited Prague um, several years ago with some friends. I thought it was I thought it was like a great city. There was so much going on. It, it just seemed to have a really nice atmosphere. Uh, some of them friends introduced me to the idea of EVS and I found art and culture in Prague, in in uh, in Madom. And um, yeah, it, it was the one I went for and it's the one I, I like most of, of all the options. So yeah, actually I came to Prague five years ago because my brother was uh, studying in Breno and I came here a couple of days to visit the city. Um, I really like it. Uh, it's a lovely city. I heard about the EBS uh, like last year and from other volunteers and I get through looking in the database, some projects related with art and culture. Uh, I find I found some of them uh, really interesting but at the end the, the one that really like the most that I like it was this one in Prague. So finally I decided to come here. It's just, Mudum is just going. It's a mixture of two words, one in English and one in Czech. The clay house. Uh, the space where we work, uh, it's a cozy place. It's also in an area called Letna, uh, which is a nice little community. And amazing views of Prague. Like we have had people from France, Spain, Italy, Finland, England, Belarus, Slovenia, Belgium. And every time the volunteers come, they... An island. <laughs> and every time uh, the volunteers come, um, it somehow it brings a lot of new in Mudum, which is great, I think. It was nice to arrive in Prague and meet the uh, other volunteers. Who are more than happy to give us as much experience as, as they, they have and to, to take us under their wing. Also the arrival meeting was amazing, like we met a lot of people there uh, from different countries. Uh, I loved the idea of sharing stories and talking about different people's backgrounds and cultures and where the similarities between where they are in life and, and where, where I am. So right now it's nice because we can travel around the country and stay in their places and enjoy all together. Ahoy! Hola! Kaiso! Servus. Zdravo. Hola. Hello. Привет. Zdravo. Ciao. Why EVS? My answer is why not? You learn by gaining so many experience, by meeting so many people and seeing new cultures, learning a new language, but it's so much different from everything I did before. Because it's another thing, EVS is something new. It's an opportunity to grow up. Uh, to discover new things that I cannot find in my place. I think that uh, what I was looking for uh, going on EVS actually happened because uh, I feel that I changed and if I'm here today it's because I actually established bond with some people and I'm really willing to, to enjoy uh, life and moments and memories with them. I'm a part of EVS community for sure because since the day we came here we met a lot of EVS people and now we are, those are our friends. I have experienced so much so much magic moments and after that on arrival I even experienced so many more magic moments so I think this is not only coincidence but this is like what has to happen I have to be here. I managed to learn a lot about stereotypes, mentalities, about people, how people in Czech Republic work and how it differs from other countries. 
then how I was passing the time here, how I was starting to be more and more involved here in the organization where I stay now, which is this Inex SDA, that uh, after some time I, I got like some kind of like offer to like continue to, to work with them and it was kind of mutual, how to say, let's say love. So I was suggested job and I said, why not? I can give it a try. Like not being volunteer, a secured person by your NGO and when everybody takes care about you, but live your normal adult life, but just in another country, in another city. For me, it's important to meet as much as possible, like new people from new countries and then to share because Usually I'm saying that the learning from people is the best. They are all of them like a book. You just need to open them and read them. So. We are five of us working in Mudum. Uh, Clara, Lenka, Luis, Gary and me. Who are here for the year, here getting involved in the, in the project, trying to be as active as possible. We run classes for children and adults, classes in pottery. We have got all the utilities here, like all the, the kiln and the wheel and all the clays and glazes and all the tools. We also try to do some like exhibitions in our gallery and some film nights. So yeah, Mudum is an intercultural meeting point for people from different countries like they came there to create and to share different experiences. Modom is, is a small, like it's a small little community. And it's the same thing with the people who, who come to Modom. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's a cozy place. It's, it's one of them places that you come straight away and within five, 10 minutes, you should feel like you're at home. Some of the children I've been knowing like for many years since they were very young and uh, I'm still, I'm always very happy when they come back again. So it's very like, uh, I feel quite close to them. Uh, for me, EBS was uh, both exciting and also uh, a little scary. I realized that the project was going to involve working with, uh, with kids a lot and I knew this was going to be a challenge. We try to guide and support the, um, the vision that the children have through art. Not to, uh, to shape it too much. Uh, they, should st they should still be allowed to make mistakes um, and be free in what they want to do, but in some ways still give them some guidance and, and teach them some, some like foundation. So actually we are running some um, activities um, like uh, related with different cultures so yeah we choose them randomly and we have been doing some of them like for example Mexico, India, Africa, Inuit and Japan. I find it really interesting you know uh, like engaging with children and to see how they see the world. Uh, we give them the tools and they start to create amazing stuff. <laughs> 